Hello, my name is Carolyn Brandy. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. I'm a drummer, a, a percussionist. I play Afro-Cuban drums. And um, my mother is uh, French and English. My father is Native American, um, black and Italian. And so I identify as a mixed race woman of color. I started playing the conga drums back in 1968. I originally started playing violin when I was about nine years old. But when I saw the conga drums, I became mesmerized with that music. They were playing Cuban music. I was in Seattle at the time. and I, A couple years after that, I, I came down here to San Francisco to take a lesson with a, a man named Marcus Gordon. And I was so thrilled by that lesson. I, I went back to Seattle, moved, uh, gathered up everything, and moved down here to San Francisco to study drums and to play drums. That was 1975. In 1968, it was kind of difficult for women to play. Nobody wanted to play with women. Everybody thought women shouldn't play. And this has persisted up until, I would say, into the late 80s, 90s. In 1988, I, um, I went to an international workshop in Tijuana, Mexico, where the Conjunto Folclorico Nacional de Cuba, some members of that uh, conjunto, were there teaching. And I had heard that they had started teaching women in, in Havana, because the director of the conjunto was a woman, and she told the men that if you're going to teach this drum, the bata drum, you have to teach it to women. There's two styles of this bata, the abulincula, the social drum, and the fundamental, the religious drum. And so they decided to teach women to play the abulincula drum. So I went to Tijuana and asked to play, and the first thing he said was, no mujeres. But he saw me playing congas, and so he let me in the class. So that summer I went to Cuba, and studied and started my study uh, of bata drums. That was 1988, as you can see by the poster. So it's been kind of a hard, long road with that. It's a lot better now. But when I got back, I got all kinds of people calling me and asking me, "What do you think you're doing? How dare you?" I got a death threat. I'm gonna, I was going to be murdered if I ever taught any other women to play, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I persisted. I was one of the first women in the United States to play this drum. So now I'm in the community. I do all kinds of things in the community. I've, I was the founder of a band called The Live, which toured the nation for about 10 years. We had three albums. I started Sista Boom, which is a, a community-based organization of um, mostly women of color uh, percussionists. And we do lots of marches and parades and things like that. Uh, I teach in the Bay Area. I, I've taught every, everybody from kindergarten all the way through college to out at San Quentin for 10 years I taught out there. Uh, I do private classes now. I've taught in the schools. So um, have, I've been very involved with the community. Um, so being a percussionist, you know, it's getting easier. But there was a few of us that were groundbreakers who started playing in the, in the 60s. And before that there were women drummers too, but you never ever heard of them. They were, you know, you it was something that we did clandestinely pretty much among ourselves and it wasn't just in this country it was like that it was all over the world so these days you have people playing all over the world china japan native american women uh, african women every all these women were forbidden to play their drum at one time and now all the women are starting to play drum that's why i created in uh, 19 about seven years ago uh, a camp called born to drum and the camp is specifically for women drummers to come and teach and to play drums. It's a summer camp and it's been very successful. We've had seven years of uh, really wonderful camps with women from all over the world who come. From Venezuela, African American, Native American, from the Congo, from Ghana, from Zimbabwe, from all over the world. All these incredible artists that, you know, have been playing 30 or 40 years. So it's like a... You know, it's a it's a movement of women drummers that is is taking place in this in this globally in the whole world.